This is Jen Kitzmiller with the National Weather Service in Missoula, and I have your winter weather planning briefing recorded on Sunday, January 7th. So we have an active weather week ahead of us, particularly in terms of winter weather, but I'm going to be focusing in on a few key time frames, which includes Monday night through Tuesday night, then again Wednesday afternoon through Thursday night, and finally Friday into the weekend. Now some of the key points for Monday night through Tuesday night, um, I have pictured here the 48 hour snowfall totals ending Wednesday morning. And the first thing that's going to jump out at you is that we're expecting a lot of heavy snow in the mountains, particularly through north central Idaho and northwest Montana, where some of the highest peaks could see anywhere from two to three feet of snowfall. Now looking into the valleys, um, we are expecting some areas of more moderate snowfall, mainly through north central Idaho and northwest Montana, where several inches of snow could occur in the same time frame. Another concern we have is that we're going to be seeing some very strong winds develop in the mountains Monday night into Tuesday morning, and that's going to cause some low visibility issues over the mountain passes, especially thinking of Marias Pass, Lookout Pass, and Lolo Pass. And then as we get into Tuesday afternoon, these winds are likely going to start mixing down into the valleys where we could see gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. So particularly those areas is in northwest Montana that are going to see the snow Monday night to Tuesday morning, there could be some issues with blowing snow by Tuesday afternoon as we start to see those winds uh, drop down into the valleys. Another final concern for Tuesday afternoon is evening is that we could see some snow squalls develop. Um, those will be capable of dropping visibility very rapidly, um, accumulations of an inch or more in a very little time at all, and and again, gusty winds, and those snow squalls will most likely favor west central and southwest Montana. So bottom line, this looks like a difficult period, especially for anyone that may be trying to travel. Now, as we get into the Wednesday evening into Thursday time frame, there's high confidence in an Arctic air mass, an Arctic cold front, uh, sagging out of Canada and crossing into western Montana and north central Idaho. This graphic shows you the timing of when that front will likely move through the region. Um, and some things that will occur as this front moves through is we'll see a uh, rapid temperature drop. Uh, we'll see strong northeast winds. And so with that, there will likely be some blowing snow, especially across northwest Montana, where we're expecting most the snowfall over the next few days. Um, so bottom line, this time frame could be particularly hazardous for travel um, due to blowing and drifting snow, slick roads, and low visibilities. As we move into this weekend, as I mentioned, uh, we have high confidence that we're going to be going to much colder temperatures. And in fact, it's about a 90% chance that we're going to see the coldest temperatures of the winter so far. Um, the graphic on the left here is showing the probability of us reaching zero degrees or colder. And you'll see across western Montana, it's 70 to 90% chance and about a 50 to 60% chance in north central Idaho. There are still some models out there showing uh, some extreme cold of 20 to maybe even 30 below zero um, by Saturday morning. Right now that's sitting at about a uh, 30 to 40 percent chance, um, especially those, those colder temperatures are more like a 30 percent chance. Um, but it's still potential as we head in towards the, uh, the Saturday morning time frame. So here's the weather threat matrix highlighting that Tuesday period with snow, wind, and snow squalls, and then the Arctic cold front transitioning Wednesday into Thursday. These are the time frames that it's going to be most difficult for any travel. One other thing I'll point out as we get into Friday, we still have moderate impacts highlighted. That's for a combination of the very cold temperatures and also ahead of that um, Arctic air, there could continue to be some moisture riding up and over that Arctic boundary that produces some moderate snowfall through parts of north central Idaho. Um, so all in all, we may still continue to see some snow going into Friday. 
So that's all I have for today. The next scheduled briefing will be Thursday, January 11th. I've given kind of a high level overview here. So if you need more details, please don't hesitate to reach out and give us a call. Thanks and have a great week.